were you going to tell us that our futures and the futures of the pupils were in jeopardy? Why can't we just forget what happened? You know full well why not. You must be Dale. He's only focused on one thing, long-distance road cycling. Our new deputy, Lorna Hutchinson. Scott. I saw Kenzie. She said you thought I was a loser. I can't read. <laughs> I can't write. The council wants our land. If they sell it, then Waterloo Road will cease to exist anyway. It'll be raised to the ground. Certainly got the blood pumping. It's a pity uh, a few more of the staff didn't set a better example. Early days, all up its die hard. Yeah, so will he if he's not careful. You've been very generous, Mr. Bukhari. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Hopefully they'll catch the bike bug here. Come down my shop for one of their own. Hey, Abdul. <laughs> oh, uh, sir, only gone and got my offer from Edinburgh this morning. Three A's. Hey, that's great, yeah. I know, thanks. I think I've totally got it. Excuse me. Look, before you start, I just go where the agency sends me and I'm not about to turn down a week's work. A week? You can stay longer if you like. No, thank you. We just have to be adult about it. Imagine. Why are you dressed like a trussed up turtle? New hobby or did you just crash the car again? It's our new bike bank. Keep people fit and active, help combat obesity. Lorna and I came up with the idea. Oh, yes, you and your new best friend. Very green, very cosy. It's a good scheme. You can borrow a bike whenever you want. That'll be interesting. And we're rolling it out into the local community to remind them how important it is to have us here. Great. Well, good luck with that. Hey, Mum. I didn't realise you were coming back. Neither did I. At least someone's pleased to see me. Didn't cycling then? Looking like that. No chance. <laughs> I've only just customised this uniform. Havelock's is rubbish. Yeah, but they get better results though, don't they? It's not all about results though, is it? I mean, look at me and Lisa. Where would we be with it, Waterloo Road? Or the schoolhouse? Havelock are not going to want me. I might just leave and get a job. That gets better and better every time I see it. Hmm. All that fast and furious for me. And your problem with that is what exactly? <laughs> hey, Scott. Bet you'd look a proper fitting in Lycra, wouldn't you? It's not my style. Too much chafing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate? Need a hand? No, you're all right. It's a pretty nice set of wheels you've got there. Any chance I can get a wee go? What's your problem? Right now, you stand in front of me. Do you know what, pal? You need your life. Oi! Watch and learn me. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on! You bust my arm! 
Well, you've done to it, you idiot. You can be a hero, my ghost name. What, do you even know how much this is worth? Hey, what'd you do that for? He needs that bike. I bet he does. I bet he sleeps with it at night. Oh, you're not even sorry, are you? What? <laughs> That's what he's sorry about. All right, enough! Cooler. Now. And you can pay to get that fixed. See you around, boys. So, have you seen what he's done? That's bang out of order. Yeah, just because he behaves like an idiot doesn't mean you have to. Steer clear. Hey, where's you going? Good. Really? Doesn't seem like it. I saw you with Dale just now. I always have to be centre of attention, eh? I was just having a laugh. It's not my fault where goes a blind. What, like you're so perfect, are you? No. Look, what's this about? The other day? Sort of. I thought we were cool. Hurry up, Bonnie. I'm fine. I know you prefer older women anyway. What did you just say? Hey, come back here. Back again? You're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? Tell me about it. At least I get to see Vaughan and his amazing bag bank. Oh. Don't get me started on him and his latest pet project. Why does he normally like bikes? Go on, take a taxi to the bathroom if he could. <laughs> Must be Lorna's influence then. What do you, uh, what do you make of her? Yeah, pretty, well intentioned. Yeah, she annoys me as well. You, uh, you don't think there could be some sort of mutual attraction going on there, do you? No. Definitely not. Someone in a position of authority. Get involved with a colleague, a young, needy, demanding one at that. Well, I wouldn't be that stupid. Danny's gonna go mental. This is my best bike. Shall I take it back to the shop, wouldn't I? No offence, but it's a bike I pro job. I may need to go back to the factory. Okay, well I'll be back at lunchtime if you need any help. Look, the the spokes need a bit of soldering, and it's out of alignment, but I reckon I could fix it. No. Don't turn your nose up. Kevin built a robot and everything. If anyone can fix it, he can. And i got a free period next. Look, your coach, he doesn't need to know anything about it. But we've got history. Uh, yeah, that's fine, cos Lenny is gonna cover for you. OK. No worries, it was my pleasure. <sighs> All sounds very ominous to me. We regret to inform you your job may be at risk. Well, is it or isn't it? Creating a super school is bound to mean economies of scale. Morning, everyone. I know you've all had letters from the LEA. I'm sure you're all worried about redundancies. We won't know anything until at least the end of term. And until then, we have to be on our best behaviour. Well, we have to be at the top of our game. Yes, difficult, I know, when we're already understaffed. Don't worry, I'm sure your second chances will have burned the place down by the time Havelock get their hands on. With respect, Havelock really is an excellent school, emerging even necessary. As you can see, and here, we have Olga Fitzgerald with us again this week. I'm sure you'll all help me in making her feel welcome. We should utilise the PTA, get the parents on side, flying the flag for the school. We don't currently have a PTA. Really? Why not? They're vital. No, it's a great idea. We should get on it as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, great. More work, more tedious meetings. The parents will be just as much against this merger as we are once they've been made aware of the negatives. Thanks, Lorna. In the meantime, we have the launch of the new community bike bank. We're all hoping it's going to give the school a bit of a boost. It's going to take more than a bike bank to save our jobs. Every little helps, George. It ticks all the boxes. It's very good PR. I'm fairly confident that Havelock doesn't have a bike bank. Right, at the risk of sounding like a tea towel, please keep calm and carry on. I'll keep you all informed of future developments. Can't see it being last in, first out, if it does come to redundancies. We well, mean the lovely Lorna. Yeah, she certainly is flavour of the month. I thought of competing against her for my own job. Sonia? Was my ex-wife really the only option the agency could come up with? Oh, I did my best, Mr Fitzgerald, but the supply teachers, they're in short supply at the minute. So you're playing a cool, then? 
been there, done that. Most of the girls in this school would kill to get with Scott Fairchild. And you're just like, whatever. Yeah, well, like you said the other day, I think I'm worth a bit more than that. Go, girl. <laughs> it should be really helpful. Just let me know if you need any help uploading text or worksheets. It's great they won't read stuff back to me. Wish I had one ages ago. Well, I'm still looking into getting you a special tutor, but until then, you'll be having one-on-one -on -one sessions with Mrs Mulgrew. Why can't you do it? Mulgrew hates me. No, she doesn't. Mrs Mulgrew is a very good teacher. No one else has to know. Promise. You have my word? OK. Just remember you're not on your own anymore. Thanks. And you've got a lesson to get to. Child, I can barely contain my excitement. How did I guess I'd be seeing you in here this morning? Come on with that, please. You'll fork a gel. I wish I could. Could what? Go. You'll fork a gel. I must go, isn't it? Gosh. Beginner's luck, I'd imagine. <clears throat> it's an exercise on the subjunctive. Requires some independent thought and the application of logic, both of which concepts, I would imagine, are somewhat alien to you. Is that right? <laughs> now, if I just put a bit of pressure on this. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Simple as that. I told you there was nothing to worry about. Great. Cheers. Kenzie is going to have a learning support assessment in class. We won't be able to keep this quiet. It's important we respect her need for privacy while she gets used to things. Yes, but surely the more people understand what her problem, the more they can support her. Young people can be very cruel. I do know what young people can be like, thank you. Put yourself in her shoes. She's buried this, hidden it away since childhood. She's gone to unbelievable lengths. That's how ashamed of it she is. I've given her my word, Christine. Please work with me on this one. Wow, looks good as new. Yeah, thanks. I owe you one. Oh, no worries, man. Back to your thing, then? Not exactly. I'm uh, more of a computer nerd. But it's nice to get your hands dirty. Oh, wish I was a computer nerd, then I might be able to fix this. It's got some sort of virus. It keeps using the hard drive and I can't access my emails. Well, I can give it a look if you like. I've got loads of heavy duty search and destroy programs. Really? You don't mind? Yes, it's no problem. <laughs> Well, I've got to go. Got to be at Havelock for ten. Havelock? Uh, yeah, I do my GBD classes over there. It's, uh, I love it here, but it's not exactly cutting edge in the technology department, is it? Okay, time's up. Can I go now? Well, let's see what you've done first. Entirely stupid, are you, Fairchild? Right, so I can go. No, I have another exercise for you. No way. Do one. Do one? I think you can sound slightly less like a total gibbon. You call me a monkey, sir? Because that's racist. It was your Neanderthal tendencies I was referring to. I could be mentally scarred by that. I think you'll get over it. I could do you for that. Slander, isn't it? Could get you into loads of trouble. Are you threatening me? Let's just call this quits. I want to go. I think you're going about this the wrong way. And I would wise up if I was you. Is that you threatening me now, sir? Because I could say anything. It's only me and you in here. It'd be your word against mine. Look, I'm warning you. You want to keep me here, do you? What are you going to do? Beat me up with a rolled up newspaper? I bet you'd like that, sir. Right, on your feet. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Mr. Fitzgerald can sort this one out. Kevin Chalk's a bright spark, isn't he? Oh, he's a lovely lad. 
I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but... He's taking my laptop, reckons he can fix it. And he will. He's dead set on doing computer signs in Edinburgh, and he'd be there now if he hadn't had a stroke. A stroke? Yeah, you'd never know, would you? He's amazing. Proper little egghead. Well, it's a good job he's not relying on rusty old supply teachers like me to get him through his exams, then. You're talking about Kevin? We are. He got a conditional offer from Edinburgh. Three years. Is that why he goes to Havelock for classes? Yeah, Von made an exception for him. I, I think it was a good call. Well, it's great for Kevin, but what about the other kids? Why should they miss out? Well, I can't see Von sanctioning some sort of mass exodus. Well, especially not now. That would be playing straight into the hands of the LEA. Look, I know nobody here wants this merger, but Havelock really does have fantastic resources, don't you think, Audrey? Um, well, it's certainly changed quite a bit since my time. I think it could benefit everyone. I wouldn't let Von hear you say that if I were you. <laughs> you're already on a final chance and you're in trouble again. What is it with you? Extra responsibility. Maybe that's what you need. We'll put you on the bike team, repairs and maintenance. But in the meantime, you can clean up this yard. What just you say? No way, I just wanted to get out of there. You're violating my human rights. Sue me. And you can apologise to Mr Windsor for your rudeness. Sorry. Mr Windsor. And thank your lucky stars Kevin and Dale were able to fix that bike. Otherwise, you'd have been paying it off till Christmas. Kenzie. Kenzie. Do you see Scott, like, out of school? No. I'm not fucking help it. So he doesn't come to your house then, does he? No. Why? I just wondered. Well, listen, if, if you want in there, that's your funeral. It's nothing to do with me. Well done again on the A for your bridge design specification. 87%. Uh, got there in the end. Highest mark in the class. But you've improved wonderfully over the last three assignments. You're back on track now. You'll just need to keep up the good work with your new teacher. Why are you leaving? No, you are. Apparently, there's going to be a new GPD teacher at Waterloo Road. Didn't Mr Fitzgerald tell you? No. From next week, You'll be able to go back to studying there. I have to say, Kevin, it's been a real pleasure teaching you these last few weeks. Um, well, well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Good luck with it all. Let us know how you get on. Kevin designed the system. We just log them in and out on here. Like a library? Sort of, yeah. It's pretty simple. You in then? We'll put you on a rotor. I'm dead disorganised. I can I be better at checking the bikes over and stuff? When I was a kid, everyone had a bike. Mm, these days it's all Xboxes, iPads and smartphones. Yeah. Well, that's what this is all about. Opening people's eyes to the joys of the open road. Brush of adrenaline, wind in your hair. Won't they be wearing helmets? Uh, Mr Fitzgerald, Mr Bond says that we've got a new GPD teacher starting. That's right, next week. He's part of the Teach Direct programme, I meant to tell you earlier. Yeah, but we've got a PLC project coming along at the moment, like programmable logic. I, I need to be there. No, we'll just transfer everything down here. It's the same syllabus. So... I'm getting A's at the moment, so like, I can't switch back. Yeah, it was always going to be a temporary measure. We agreed that. Yeah, I can't slip up again. Kevin, I promise you, everything you need will be down here, but we can't have one rule for you and one rule for everybody else. It just wouldn't work. Uh, Kev, how do I amend the booking on the system? Yeah. The Teach Direct programme. Yep. A probationer from a fast-track scheme with zero experience. They are drawn from the best graduates and his references are excellent. Even so, I doubt he'll provide much of a chance to someone as gifted as Kev. All right, everything's safe and secure. Are we ready for the photo op with the Gazette? Dale, I want you to do the honours at lunchtime. Put your cycling gear on and have some pictures taken at the bike bank. Um, 
so I kind of want to go for a proper ride, try it out. You have time to do both. I'd love you to be there, our Olympic cycling hopeful. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Great, thank you. Now, where do you think you would look to find a first-hand account? You're late, sit down. Just in my bed for the environment, miss. Good for you. Just found this. Not bad for ten minutes' work, eh? Pick up any old thing you have. What's that supposed to mean? Sorry, miss, what were you trying to say before we all got interrupted? Yes, now, where were we? The 1746 Act of Prescription and the Dress Act, which ordered the surrendering of all swords and tartans and forbade the wearing of kilts. You should see me in a kilt, miss. Scott, just shut up, will you? Just concentrate, you two, please. Cave me, calm down. Now, take a minute to imagine what that must have been like for the honest Highlander. Sorry to disturb you. Kevin Chalk wants a word. OK, show him in. How can I help, Kevin? Um, well, I'm sure this new teacher's going to be great, but have a look. Have uh, guest speakers, industry placements whoa, 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 and, and whoa, that whoa, stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Um, <clears throat> what if I transferred to have a look completely? For my grades, everything? Uh we couldn't set that kind of precedent. I mean, the circumstances under which you transferred were exceptional, and now those circumstances have changed. Look, you've got nothing to worry about. The new GPD teacher is going to be excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I want to get the best grades I can and get to Edinburgh. And we will do everything we can to make that happen here at Waterloo Road. Listen. You are one of the most talented students this school has ever had. Thanks. That's true. And we don't want to lose you sooner than we have to, especially not now, when everyone needs to rally round to help fight this merger. Yeah, of course. Anything I can do. There have been some tricky times, but you've come through them, and I like to think the school has always been there for you. It has. Without this place, uh, I'd be nothing. You're right. I can't leave. I was just worried. Worried about my grades. Don't be. You don't think I'm gonna let my best pupil down, do you? Thanks, sir. What's all this cryptic stuff about, then? Don't know what you mean. It means hard to understand. I know what the word means. So... I saw you go in there. In where? Kenzie's house. With her mum. I was just popping by to see how she's doing. We go back a bit, we're mates. Really? Do you think I'm stupid or something? I saw the way she touched you. I saw the way you touched her. And I waited. Why were you following me anyway? This isn't getting to do with me. Whatever you want to go, that's up to you. So, what's your problem? Does Kenzie know? There's nothing to know. So, I can mention it to her then? Best not. Look. Nothing happened. But it's complicated. Me and Kenzie don't get hungry right now. But me and her mum, we're cool. That's it. I just didn't want to cause them any trouble. So what do you think? Can you forget about it? Maybe. Just be careful. Uh, so first we're going to look, and then we're going to say the word, and then we cover it. Kenzie? I know, then I write it down and check if I've got it right. Good. You'll get used to it. It'll all become routine. Um, can you tell me 
what this word says. S-T-A-Y-E-D. That's stayed. Now, these other words have the same A sound, but they're all spelt differently. Uh, paid. Weighed. Obeyed. Fed. Which is what I'm going to do. I'll have to keep listening to this. Kenzie, I know it's tough. But we have to go back to basics. Learn to walk before you can run. Come on. Work with me. I hate all this baby stuff. How's it going? Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, early days, Kenzie. You'll soon make progress. Our brand new bike bank, Waterloo Wheelers, will be open for business in approximately 10 minutes' time. Told you it wouldn't work with her. We'll get there. Gentlemen, welcome to this launch of Waterloo Wheelers, our new bike bank. We owe a great big thank you to our sponsor, Mr. Hassan Bukhari of the Bike Bar, who has been so amazingly generous in providing us with all these bikes. Thank you, Hassan. Uh, this is for everyone. It's for fun, it's for fitness, it's absolutely free. Please do treat the bikes with respect, but please use the bikers. Off you go. All those bikes were road safe. Yeah, we check each one. Oh my god, did you get these from a wheel of them sir? I think you need stabilizers. Or a, a skewer. That your idea of fun? Just nothing to do with me. Just trying to be nice. Just a few teething problems, ladies and gentlemen. We'll sort it out. What is one bike not enough for you? You had to go and screw up a few more. Well, don't worry, because they're almost fixed. Your stupid little stump failed. Do you clean up a bit, me? It was probably just someone having a laugh. Oh, it was very funny. To any potential cyclists out there, Waterloo Wheelers will be open for business this afternoon. To those who wish to use it in the spirit it was intended. Thank you. I should dob you in right now. You don't have any proof. Do you know what? All Fitzgerald is trying to do is save this place, so idiots like you have got a place to go where no one else will have her. I don't ask him to. Whatever. I can go. The head wanted me for some sort of press thing. Oh, yeah, I did call, but... Yeah, I will. I will. Oh, it's only one session, eh? Got to keep hitting my targets. Well, Danny's targets. You no bothering? I mean, I, I'll have it if, if you're not hungry, you, you know? Yeah. You, you sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Hello? Speaking.
Really? Are you sure? That's fantastic. I mean, I'm absolutely speechless. <laughs> Local hero and community figure. He'll be a laughing stock after that. Someone could have been hurt. Well, worth a few scraped knees for the look in his face. Christine, Christine, Christine. Grief. Nicoelastic snap, old thing. I hope you don't mind, but I've gone a bit mad. And I've booked two front row seats for us tonight at the opera. La Bohème. Have you? I've had a bit of a windfall. £3,000. Wow. Where did you get that from? Premium bonds. I'd forgotten I had them. So I thought we'd go out, have a bit of a splurge, enjoy ourselves, celebrate. Goody. I'm sorry, Audrey. Um, we're having dinner. Remember I told you? I uh, already booked a table. It's a little thank you to Christine. She's been helping me um, choose a new colour scheme for my living room. Oh, yes. We are. Sorry, Audrey. Oh, no worries. I know plenty of people who'll bite my hand off. So am I to add interior decorator to my CV now? It was the first thing that came into my head. Oh. Poor Audrey, she was all pink and excited. I feel quite mean. So where are you taking me? Well, I hadn't really got that far. Oh, I see. All mouth and no trousers. No, no, man of my word. Your choice, my treat. Really? Yeah. And I guarantee it'll cheer you up. You'll forget that Lorna Hutchinson never existed. Well, that would have to be quite some restaurant. Well, in that case... Oh, we... don't worry. Cheap and cheerful's fine by me. OK. I mean, do I look like I'd enjoy a night spent watching some overweight opera singer strangling a top seam? What happened to the punk with the purple spiky hair? Probably ended up in the same place as the rockabilly with the six-inch quiff. No, that is so wrong. Oh, Dim. Um, careful, we will do. Yeah. Could you use a hand with your fitness program? Like timings, cardio, and stuff like that. Like, like a sort of training buddy. It's just that I'm hoping to go to uni and do sports physio, and I think it'd be a really good experience for me as yeah, well. Yeah. You know? I'd... Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, okay. I, I just kind of do my own thing. It's better that way. It keeps me focused. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. No worries. your laptop? It was a Z-Bot, so no wonder you couldn't find it. No idea what you're talking about, but thanks, I think. <laughs> oh, Edinburgh's a fantastic university. Here you're after a career in computer science. Yeah, it's all I've wanted for as long as I can remember. I just need straight A's. Well, I'm sure you'll get them, especially with the help you've been getting at Havelock. But I've got to come back here next week, haven't I? We've got a new GPD teacher starting. Yes, I heard. Great. I thought it'd be easier to stay there, but Mr Fitzgerald didn't want me to. No. Hmm. Well, Waterloo Road's been really great to me. I'd probably be a bit of a rat if I bailed. Especially with the merger and everything. Yeah. Nice one. Letting Kevin Chalk take a class at Havelock. Thank you. I have my moments. So how come you told him he couldn't go there full time? If he seriously wants to transfer to Havelock to take his exams, I think you should support him. Do you? You being the supply teacher for this week. Well, it's better than guilt-tripping him into staying. I had no idea you were so concerned about his education. I think he needs more than this school has to offer. If you think this school doesn't have enough to offer, you're welcome to leave it. Come on, at Havelock they've got... Don't give me at Havelock. Don't run this school down by comparison. All I want is what's best for Kevin. You hardly know him. I just don't think you should sacrifice his prospects to suit your own political agenda. Meaning what? Well, you're not exactly going to hand over your star pupil to the enemy now, are you? Do I have to remind you I am head teacher here? Do I have to remind you what a head teacher does? The best for each individual pupil. Bit of a domestic. Again. Let's hope the tannoy isn't on this time. 
invitation is all about opening doors. Yes, it certainly is. Let me show you through this one. Have a lot could be Kevin's best chance. You have no right to stand in his way. Thank you. I was right about Kevin, oh, you know. don't you stop. He hasn't been himself in a long time. Stuck down with a bunch of kids a year younger. He's fed up, bored and getting into trouble. Did you and Olga plan this? I'm just saying she's making a fair point. She is a mutinous ex-wife intent on stirring things up. She is a damn fine teacher. Just the type this school needs. She knows her stuff and she really cares about the kids. Don't you still need someone in the geography department? I have several candidates under consideration. Well, I like her. Everyone likes her except you. Christine, why are you here and what do you want? You asked to see me. Oh, yeah. Are you free this evening after school? Well, I already have a date, if that's why you're asking. No, thank you. I just thought we needed a bit of a catch-up, that's all. You, me and Lorna, we could discuss the PTA in more detail. You could stick needles in her eyes, too. Excuse me? Yes, of course, glad to. I don't see a lot of writing going on, Fairchild. It's the thing about pens. You have to actually make contact with the paper in order for the ink to come out. Yeah, well, I've had enough of French for one day. Yes, well, I'm sure the feeling's mutual. But I doubt you want to spend what's left of it picking up litter again, do you? <sighs> Better than being stuck in here. Give it a rest, Scott. Some of us are trying to work. Drop a little swat, aren't you? Just doing what I'm told. You should give it a go sometime. You know, playing tiddlywinks, it's not going to get you very far. You really rate yourself. Just do us all a favour and go back to your little playpen. One more word out of you, fair child. What? Don't this is Bertie Golden Boy over here. Yeah, well, at least I make an effort. You shouldn't even be at the school. No, well, neither should you. You got held back here, didn't you? Remind me why again. Oh, yeah. You had a stroke. Grandma. Go. Feel free to kill each other. Provided right, it's not on my watch. Oi! What did you just say? You say that again or I'll kill you? Do you want him to back in? Oh, shut up! He's not in the head. Don't make me come down there. Get to your classes straight it's away. It's no wonder being stuck here with scumbags like you. David, kid. He's not happy unless he's spoiling it for everybody else. I'm just trying to make the day go by. Do you know what your problem is? You can't take a joke. You're the joke, Scott. You can't even ride a bike. Who can't ride a bike? You, you fell flat on your face like an absolute muppet. I'd rather be a muppet than a stuck-up geek. Kevin, Ev! There's no way you're fighting him! No contest. You can't be right all up there. Well, let's see, shall we, yeah? After school. Bring it on. I'll annihilate you. Fights, don't you? Quite a little peacemaker, really. Didn't seem that impressed before. Maybe I was a bit harsh. Maybe. Kenzie. How did it go, Mrs. Mulgrew? Not great. I'd much rather you taught me to read. Well, as an English teacher, she's in a much better position to help you than I am. She doesn't understand the way my head works. I don't claim to understand that either. How's it going with Scott? Nothing I can't handle. You seem to be bothering other people more than me. Well, I guess that's progress, sort of. Yeah, which, which can't be said for my reading. <sighs> she's had one lesson. Give her a chance. I don't like the way she talks to me. It'd be different if it were you. And I'd learn it much faster. There's no rush. I can't. You gave me a word. It's a shame your uh, grand launch descended into a bit of a farce. Nobody died. I trust you had a less stressful afternoon. Uh, apart from Scott Fairchild and Kevin Chalk taking a pop at each other in the corridor, yes. Again? Yeah, well, half the course for Fairchild, but Kevin, you'd expect something rather better. 
You want to be careful that your second chances don't start dragging the good apples down to their level. Just saying. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. Oh, my God, look at that. Over 230,000 people died. Now, who can explain to me how that happened? What created that terrifying wall of water? An earthquake under the sea. Spot on. Can you be a bit more precise? Um, it was a fault line between two tectonic plates below the ocean floor ruptured, forcing one of them upwards and displacing water, which came rolling out as a series of gigantic waves. Exactly. Destroying everything in their path. Is there anything I can do to help, Mr Fitzgerald? Uh, no. Please, carry on. So, it had the force of 23 Hiroshima bombs. You can think of the devastation that that one bomb caused. That is just how enormous the force that hit the tectonic plates was. Scott's going to bat on him. No. He already thinks he owns a school. It's just stupid. Just tell him you're not doing it. Nobody blame you, Kev. You bottling it, Kev? No chance. It's got more guts than you'll ever have. Yeah, we'll soon see. Well, I've got nothing to prove. But if it shuts you up, it'll be worth it. Go for it. I'll meet you down that back alley behind Northcourt Street. He's gonna wipe that smile right off your ugly mug. He hasn't got a snowballs. Why are you going to war with Kevin Chalk? What's it to you? You jealous? No, curious. You were everyone's best mate before, and now look at you. Why take Kevin on? Everybody loves him. Well, maybe that's why. That makes sense. Why are you so angry? <laughs> Coming from you. Look, I'm just trying to have a laugh. And if that ruffles a few feathers, so be it. It's not my problem. You know, I so much as blanket someone in this school's down my throat. Didn't exactly ask to come here and did I? If you're in now, might as well embrace it. Listen to you. The great rebel turned good girl. You don't like it here, do you? It's all right. Oh, great. Just what I need. Just turn to the dark side. Look, I'm just saying, leave Kevin alone. Oh, what? What's the newly reformed Kenzie going to do about it? You're going to go tell Fitzgerald? Don't make me. Just have some sense. Don't dig yourself a deeper hole than you need to. You'd be better backing off now. It's too late. I'll back out now and everyone will think I'm chicken. But it's just a bit of fun anyway. No, you'll hurt him. And you may be an idiot, but you're not a thug. So do the decent thing for once. Dinner's off, I'm afraid. I've been summoned by Vaughan. Mm. See you in ten. Well, that's a shame. <clears throat> I've decided to push the boat out. Mm. Of course you had. <laughs> well, next time Audrey springs a surprise treat on you, do you feel free to use me as your get-out-of-jail card? I might just do that. My life doesn't always feel like my own at the moment. Well, reclaim it. Come out with me instead. Have some fun. Dye your hair purple. <laughs> in fact, tell Audrey we're dating. And you're completely off the hook. But we're not dating. <laughs> she doesn't know that. George, if I didn't know you better, I'd think you actually were fishing for a date. Ah, oh, the old double bluff. No, that's far too much like hard work. <laughs> Fair enough. Truth is, I'm terrible at relationships, as we both well know. But for you, even I think I could sustain a fake one. Is that a compliment? I don't know. Is it? Well, I'll take it anyway. Well, I bet he doesn't even turn up. Oh, well, he's not going to lose three, says he? Who can ride a bike? Oh, he's got my bike! Let's see how fast this thing can really go. Hey. I'll get it! I don't know. 
Who better give a check in? Oh, come on! Come on, Professor, you can do better than that! Devin, get up. Stop warning you! Oh, I'm so scared. I've got to get you. Don't watch your blood pressure. Don't end up back in crunches, do you? Come on, Chalky. God, it's not a joke. You can't do that. I'm finding it pretty funny. Kevin, can you hear me? Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to do it. It was just a joke. Kevin, Kevin, you need to wake up, please. Look, you need to wake up now. Come on, you need to say something, mate. Please. Christine, Kenzie Calhoun just came to see me to ask if I could take over her literacy tuition. Well, we didn't get off to the best start, but... I've got quite a close bond with her, so I think I could really help. Well, thanks, but I'm quite happy to carry on. We just need to get to know each other a bit more. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. I just want to help if I could. Sorry, I'm late. You come through? Right. This PTA, I think. Kevin! There! Over here! You're gonna be okay, okay? What'd you do to him? Nothing. I swear it was an accident. He hit the rail. He could have hurt his head. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Look, we need an ambulance. I'll do it. No, you've done enough. I'll do it. Well, is he going to be OK? A PTA is a great idea. Give the parents a stake in decision-making, a forum for their ideas, and that way they really invest in the school. And its future. A ready-made support group to help fight the merger. Exactly. Good. Well, we're all agreed. So, in terms of who runs it... Love to. Me too. You'll have so much on as deputy. But as deputy, it would be a great opportunity for me to forge some links with the parents and families. I can do that. Really? It's no bother. And it's a lot of responsibility for you when you're trying to take a back seat. Having run the entire school, I'm sure the PTA isn't beyond me. No, honestly, it's fine. I suppose we could do it together. Together? Yes, well, it was your idea after all. And you've been brilliant at gaining Kenzie's trust, so maybe it would be better for you to take over with her. OK. Together's good with me. And me. Good. Well, I'm glad I sorted that one out. Where's this ambulance? But I didn't mean to hurt him. He's waking up. Look, it's all right, Kevin. You're gonna be okay. No one move him. Could hurt his back. Look, we're right here, Kevin. You're gonna be okay, all right? Come on, Kevin. Can you hear us? I'm in it. Well, where are you going? You coward! Come back here! Look after him. Scott, come back here! Excuse me, guys. Hello there. <clears throat> Can someone tell me his name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin Chalk. Kevin, can you hear me? My name's Ronnie. Listen, the ambulance is here. You're going to be fine. Has anybody moved him? No, no. OK, good. There's been an accident. Kevin Chalk's hurt. Dale and Kenzie have rung an ambulance. Where are they? They're on their way to the hospital. Better get over there. Well, I'll come with you. Christine, can you hold the fort here? Uh, maybe Kevin would like to see a familiar face? Yep, of course. You go. Yeah, why don't you both stay here? Someone's going to have to tell Maggie what's happened. Vaughan, 
just heard about Kevin. Yeah, I'm on my way to Annie. He cycled in. Hi. I'll give you a lift and some moral support. Thank you. Scott! Scott! That's right. Run away, loser. You just don't get it, do you? Get what? You can't even wait to make sure he's OK. You're pathetic. I told you this would happen. You've been winding him up all day. You just don't know when to stop, do you? It's not my fault he took me on. Well, for once in your life, just... just hold your hands up. Take the blame. No? OK. Well, you just keep on running, then. I'm going back to find out what's happened to Kevin. Kenzie! Wait. Why'd you act like such a jerk? Nobody told him to take on the challenge. Could have bagged out at any point. Just soon. So, get kicked out then, see if I can. Then what are you gonna do? How's Kevin? Yeah, I've just taken him to hospital. So he's awake, talking. And lucky for you, this is OK. I'll get over it. It's only a bike. Get do you know what, mate? Don't. Right? That's not going to help. Just calm down. Calm down. Yeah, he's right. Not even worth it, are you? Why don't you just stick to mincing about in Lycra? Shut up, Scott! You just don't learn, do you? Chasing each other on bikes. I warned you to stay away from Scott Fairchild this morning. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You're stupid. Kid stuff. Don't worry about that now. Kevin? He's OK. No broken bones, just concussion. When Christine told me, I thought, why weren't you wearing a helmet? You could have been killed. Kevin. They're going to send him down for a scan just to check there's no bleeding or skull fracture. I'm, I'm fine, Mrs B. It's nothing to worry about. Scott Fairchild is well toxic. Yeah. Listen, thanks for that. I reject him. Look, I know how it feels to be wound up, especially when you're under pressure. I got a bit stressed out about my exams last year and ended up having panic attacks and all that. It was, it was horrible. Really? But you always seem dead chilled out. I just learned how to deal with it. Listen, what you said before about a training buddy, you still up for it? Sorry about before, it's just I sort of keep to myself these days. Less trouble that way. Cool. Cool, I, I, I'm in. Yeah? How about tonight? Get on a stopwatch, see how fast she goes? Sure. That's if I can move after another one of Mrs. Budgeon's monster meals. She's a feeder, isn't she? We end up a fat ass, so I'm not careful. I meant what I said earlier about you being one of the best students that Waterloo Road has ever had. And as such, you deserve the best help I can give you, which is why you will be transferring to Havelock High. No, no, sir, I can't leave all the road. No arguments. Otherwise, I will have to exclude you for reckless behaviour, and then they would have to take you anyway. Are you serious? And change schools? I'll talk to the head tomorrow. That'd be brilliant. You'll be happier there, and so more likely to realise your full potential. Oh. Thief in Waterloo Road. It's weird. They'll be lucky to have you. Don't forget that. I won't. And next time you want to get your own way, can you please find some way of doing it that doesn't involve hospitals? <laughs> Thank you, sir. And all of you. You know, Waterloo Road's lucky to have teachers like you. It was a very good thing you just did. In the end, 
I owe you an apology for the way I've behaved since you've been at the school. Not exactly the warmest welcome I've ever had. I was wrong. I just... I felt sort of... Uh... Invaded? Crowded? I've heard nothing but good things about you from staff and pupils. I've seen it myself. You're a very good person to have around. Thank you. All those qualities I first admired in you and which I'd almost forgotten about. It would be a shame if Waterloo Road was to lose those. What I'm trying to say is that, subject to Board of Governors, I'd very much like you to stay. Hey, Kenzie. Wait. Not now, Scott. Luke, I'm sorry. Don't tell me, tell Kevin. I will. Not just about today, but what happened before between us. Can't we just be mates? Why now? I was a stupid kid back then. No, you still are. That's why Kevin's ended up in hospital. The difference is I know what I did wrong now. Today and before. Look, I'm not your mate, Scott. Never was, never will be, but I don't have to be your enemy either. So you don't bother me, I don't bother you. Best I can do. Fair enough. But you do anything to me again, I swear I'll kill you. I won't. I promise. Marco de Oliveira. Wow, OK. Fellow science teacher and health not. You put me to shame. I don't know. You look pretty fit yourself. Everyone knows I'm rubbish at English. It's no big deal. Kenzie, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Can you not read properly? Are you all right? It's just you seemed a bit upset. Stay out of my life, you weirdo. So I, th I think Karen needs help. Is it true, Miss? <laughs> just settle down, please. There's a chance we're about to be accused of inviting a paedophile into our school. We do this by the book. And there's more brand new on 3 this Thursday at 10 as we go back behind bars with Luke. This week, our guy on the inside is trying to impress his girlfriend by sitting an A-level, but it doesn't go quite according to plan. Comedy with Ellis James. And up next, it's live at the Apollo.